in the same day, yesterday, two engine-related incidents occurred in the air. First, it was a 747 bound for New York from the Netherlands. Then, a United Boeing 777 was forced to return to Denver International Airport. The 26-year-old aircraft suffered an uncontained engine failure over the city, with parts of the engine cowling ending up in a local resident's front yard. So, what happened? Well, let's find out. It is indeed incredibly rare for an aircraft to suffer an uncontained engine failure. In August 2019, it had been reported that a car window in Italy had been smashed by debris from a Norwegian 787's uncontained failure. However, the 21st of February had been a day of incredible coincidence, as not one but two major uncontained failures occurred over populated areas. By the way, if you haven't seen my video already about the event with the 747, be sure to head over to it via the link in the description or the card icon appearing now in the top right hand corner of your screen. So, departing from Denver International Airport almost an hour late at 1.30 yesterday afternoon, United Flight UA328 was due to fly to Honolulu. This flight was expected to last 7 hours and 30 minutes. However, the flight ended up just lasting 30 minutes after the aircraft's number 2 engine suffered an uncontained engine failure around 5 minutes into the flight at 13,400 feet. I'm sure you have seen the video of the very badly damaged engine by now. If not, here's a short clip of it. talking to the Denver departure controllers, as recorded by LiveATC.net. The pilot of United 328 said, Yeah, you know, Denver uh, departure, United 328 heavy, Mayday aircraft, uh, just experienced a engine failure, needed to turn immediately. According to the airline, the Boeing 777 had 231 passengers on board, accompanied by 10 members of crew. N772UA, the aircraft involved, is 26 years old, according to data from Planespotters.net. With line number 5, meaning it was the fifth of the assembly line, it was actually one of the first Boeing 777 aircraft delivered to an airline, having flown with United Airlines since it was delivered on September 29, 1995. According to data from Radarbox, the aircraft had been busy throughout the past year, completing 2,184.5 hours over 530 flights in the past 12 months. Debris fell in front yards. The incident appears to have occurred over the district of Broomfield. The local police department shared a photo of the front of an engine cowling lying in someone's front yard. They then went on to urge the public not to touch the debris if they found any and report it immediately. The police department said the NTSB is dispatching a team that wishes to view all the debris in the area. The department went on to share further photos of a side cowling lying in a field. On the incident, a United Airlines spokesperson told aviation media outlet Simple Flying. Flight 328 from Denver to Honolulu experienced an engine failure shortly after departure, returned safely to Denver and was met by emergency crews as a precaution. There are no reported injuries on board and we will share more information as it becomes available. So, what do you make of the second uncontained engine failure over a populated area in the space of less than two days? Let me know what you think and why in the comment section below. But, you know the drill now, that is all in today's video. So please, 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 hit the like button if you like today's video, subscribe, first time or a veteran here, as I'd massively appreciate this. And, of course, 
share this video with friends and family. But, until next time, keep your eyes on the skies.